Oh my god, it's a giant one. guys we are on Clark's Hill today first day of the invitational out here off to a little bit of a late start I decided to leave my GoPros at the house and uh, I was late boat number so I was kind of already late to launch so I have my camera guy Joe to go back and get the cameras so we were a little bit late to launch but I'd rather have the cameras in the boat get that good content for you guys so we made it out here Starting back in a pocket here, some uh, some timber, a little bit stained water. You pretty much got two two different uh, two different options here on Clark's Hill. You can go into that clean water, catch them on jerk baits, um, more finesse type stuff, or you can get in a little bit more stained and muddy water. Toss a spinner bait around. I'm gonna be flipping a lot of these lay downs. So water temp's up pretty high. It's 60 degrees right now. High of today's 80. It'll probably get up in 65 by the end of the day so a lot of these fish should be moving back into these pockets getting on this hard cover getting ready to spawn and maybe even spawning so could could turn out to be a pretty good event i had a pretty decent amount of bites through a lot of these lay downs in practice that never set the hook on so um we're gonna fish through some of these first thing in the morning i'm not sure if the bite's gonna be too good but once that sun starts getting up and, and heating up i think that bite's probably gonna turn on pretty good Yeah. Huh? We'll take him. Little guy. I have a feeling first thing this morning, probably most of my bites are going to come on the spinner bait. Later on, we can get to flipping. Pound and a half. Oh, you sucker. About to catch one. There we go. <laughs> There's three of them right on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad one. I know. 
they get all white in this muddy water. I'm surprised they can even really see a jerk bait in it. I guess they can. Two and a quarter. I got to be 12 to keep here. <laughs> Twelve inches? Yeah. yeah. Through the Christmas trees. <laughs> There's gotta be like 20 of them that somebody put out right there. One thirty-two. Yeah, probably because when the water I mean when the water gets higher, they probably all just submerge there. more foot of water <laughs> there'd be so many more trees in the water it'd be crazy i guess they're up shallow though that couldn't have been more than a foot of water up there yeah dude that fish was in like six inches of water dude. two and a half that's five of them I think like eight pounds. Oh, God, that's a big one. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Five pounder. God, he hammered it so hard. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. He wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> that might be one of the hardest spinner bait bites I've ever had. Were you watching? So <laughs> That's gotta be over five. Nah, uh, not quite. Four and three quarter. We'll take them though. Puts me at 
1268. Just like that. Just like that. Yep. The water temps increased four or five degrees since this morning. So a lot of the trees that I've already hit, I'm just gonna run back through. <laughs> there we go. Maybe he'll get some. Get rid of one of them at least. Yeah, he, he's a two pounder. Same, two zero four. Two point one six. Three quarter pound upgrade. Give me thirteen thirty six. Oh, get out of there. There we go. Look how skinny he is. It should be three pounder, but I bet he only weighs two pounds. Flipping fish. Flipping fish though. Golly. He would be a pretty nice one. Still two and a quarter. Number three, let's see, what does that put me at? 1380, just under 14 pounds. I wonder if he's a post spawner already. Yeah, or if his fins look alright. Or if he's just a he's that's just not in good shape. Yeah, that's pretty spawn. What is that? Three. Came back for it, but he's not anything. <laughs> I don't even know. He probably doesn't even help. He might call out that little one by like an ounce. <laughs> but he's gonna, be, he's gonna be the next one to go anyway. Point one three.
<laughs> he smoked like a big one. <laughs> it will help. It will help. One seventy six. Not a bad day today. Got enough to stay in contention. Uh, I think I was in like the, what was I, in the 30s when I weighed in. They're about wrapping up, got about five more guys left to go. So, looking looking all right, looking all right. But uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna have to decide what I'm gonna do. It was kind of a grind, to be honest, up where I fished today. So, that was all the way up north. Um, tomorrow, I think I might, uh, I might make a run down south and just hit some fresh stuff and uh, see if I can't get another 13, 14 pounds, if not more, make that top 50 cut. Yo. What happened today, Flint? Um, just donated. Oh, yeah, it's gone. Gone? It's gone. On the backup boat. On the backup boat. On what about boat, the main power, boat? Power has done. On the main boat. On the main boat. So your two boats down. And my truck battery was dead when I cranked it up. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> So I saw him at the ramp today, dude. I was, like, I was like, his his truck battery's gonna be dead. Mm. I mean, it just can't get no worse. Flint's hurting right now. It actually uh, can't get, it can get It can get a lot worse. It really can. Really? I gotta go doo doo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like. I mean, I lost What do you have going on? I gotta go. I'm donating spinner base. And then I'm making Thanks, up. Thanks, Bobby. And yeah. then I'm making up some more spinner baits. Cause I got well, Belot had some of these ones, but they don't have as much chartreuse on them. So I'm taking some some skirts off of some other ones I have and putting them on there. I need to go grab some super glue. So I'm well prepared for tomorrow. You ready to make the cut today? Mm-hmm. We are making the cut today. I'm gonna catch, I don't know, I'm gonna catch 14 plus today and just secure it. Move, into, it. move into day three. With a chance. With a, with a chance, mm -hmm. yep. We're gonna catch him. What do you think, can we make him cut? Oh yeah. Easy. 13 seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean it's huge, and I think pretty much every area of the lake has fish. So get right out. Next one. Here we go. Cranking a bridge. I've never even fished this bridge. <laughs> Looked right. What do you say? One one. He's about one point one two. Oh, he's a little bigger than he looks. One point four six. Oh, 
I don't even know how deep this one is supposed to dive. <laughs> I was gonna ask. But... <laughs> that on <laughs> this is. I literally got this one. I took this from Senor in that challenge that we won. There's another one. That's a better one. That one might not be a bass. If he's a bass, it's a pretty good. One. Oh my God! It's a giant one. Six pounder. Oh my gosh, come on, come on, come on. Get in here, yeah! There we go! Six pounder, bridge I've never even cranked before. Decided to fish some new water today. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. On a crankbait that I got from Senor Bass Fishing, I stole this crankbait from him at Wheeler. If you guys watched that video, we did a little challenge on the off day for the Gunnersville Toyota. I took the rock crawler from him when we won. I just caught about, I don't know, he might be five, but whatever he is, caught it on that rock crawler crankbait from Mr. Senor. Let's go. Mm. That is a shot. <laughs> Six pounds. Six pounds on the dot. I got big one, another big one. All right. oh, he's not huge, but he's a good one. Yes. Solid chunker. One eight four. <laughs> Two oh three. We'll take them. <laughs> There's one. Another two pounder, baby. <laughs> Both times I've gotten the crankbait stuck and come up this way and made a cast, I've caught one. One ninety, I'll take him. It's four fish, eleven thirty-five. That's a good one. Oh, I just got them hooked in. I keep hooking them in the top. They feel way bigger than they are. I think it's a decent one though. I couldn't quite tell how big he was. He didn't look giant. He's not that big. It's like a two and a half. I think it's a spot. Yeah, it is a spot. Oh, hey, he's got you back. <laughs> I don't even know if he helps. They're just slapping at it, every single one of them.
first spotted bass I've caught. <laughs> wonder what he decided if he went back up or if he was going to do something different. There's one. <laughs> Couldn't tell if he was a better one or not, but he is fighting hard. Like a two and a half. Maybe. Why are they all barely getting it? <laughs> he probably won't do nothing. Call out the smaller one, maybe. None of them are really choking it, they're all hooked in the side. Too. He'll be the next one to go still. Stacked up on that little corner oh, right there. Yeah. He's not gonna do nothing. Golly. <laughs> Did you see him come up? Yeah. <laughs> he swiped up my spinner bit. Chunky. Probably, he's gotta be over two. Take a picture of it? Yeah. Yeah, sure wow. you were robbed. Wow, look at that three pound. That's like a three pound. Maybe two and a half. Two, two and a half. Put me in the vlog. He has 10 pounds. 10 pounds? <laughs>
What do you got? Got a, uh, a hand tied jig that my buddy Grant just gave me in the way in line. He hand tied that thing. Check out the colors. That thing looks so good. I know, look, it's got like, it's got some blue hue to it. It's got a blue head and then all kinds of different green pumpkin variations. He said he hand tied it too. He gave me this note. It's got, uh, he hand ties them and sells them. So he just gave me that, that guy right there to throw. Might tie it on for tomorrow. If I go back to that bridge, it's probably the perfect color for out here. Thanks, Grant. Yep, thanks, Grant. Shout out to Grant for the jig. <laughs> Thank you. Day three cut, we made it. Yesterday was a good day. Fished some new water um, and it worked out for us this time. So something I've been working on, just trying to just keep an open mind in these tournaments, especially on these multi-day events where stuff is constantly changing. So yesterday I made the decision to just go fish new stuff, uh, just fish what felt right. Pulled up on that bridge, caught a six pounder, caught my limit. Ended up with uh, just under 15 pounds, which kept me in 33rd place. So usually when you catch more weight, you actually move up, or even if you catch the same weight, you end up moving up. But uh, I guess these Clarks Hill fish are turning on. They're biting, so we're gonna have to catch them good here now on day three. But uh, worst we can do today is 50th place. We're in the cut, we're getting paid. So we're just gonna shoot for a big bag today. I think if I can get 17, 18 pounds, I'll probably move up quite a bit, but uh, Let's shoot for that 20 plus pound bag, see if maybe I can't sneak into that top 10. But it's gonna be windy today, gonna to be some changing conditions again. Might get some rain in the afternoon, so just gonna to have to fish in the moment. Just uh, just have fun. We made the day three cut. Let's just go do it. Let's have a fun day out on the water. Try to catch the biggest bag we can. Nice one. Spotted bass. Spot.
There's one. I got one, Joe. came to worst they would just have to for some reason. 're big one off the bridge not quite as big as the one yesterday but he's a good one while it's raining there we go the bite hasn't been quite as good this morning but looks like there's still a few good ones around here oh, he's almost as big as the one from yesterday he looks big 562. Kind of skinny. 562. I've well, gotten one big bite every day. Let's see if today we can make it a couple of them.
pig fell out on it. You must have just swiped at it. Yeah. That last one swiped at it too. pounds 295 so that'll give me There we go. I suck at netting them. Yes, you do. <laughs> you are terrible at netting. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that tree was going to be too shallow, but I guess it's deep enough. Another four pounder. Yeah, all the ones you've been catching have been dirt shallow, dude. Gosh, she's bigger. They're all bigger than I thought. Four and three quarter. That puts me at 18 pounds. No way. <laughs> Biggest bag of the week. <laughs> so we're coming into weighing now. Solid day. <laughs> 18 pounds. Eight, the catch commander says 1862, so they'll probably go probably go high 18 on the MLF scale if I had to guess. It usually weighs a little bit higher. So what are you hoping for? Top 20? Yeah, top 20. I think I'll slide in top 20. I mean, unless the weights went way, way up, which I highly doubt, I'll probably, probably slide into the top 20. Anything else is just icing on the cake yeah anything better than 20. i mean solid points okeechobee wasn't the greatest but this gets me back into contention for bpt if i have a great rest of the season so that's uh that's nice i didn't completely take myself out of it after okeechobee 33. thank you guys that is a wrap for Clark's Hill this is a really fun lake to fish I really enjoyed it increase my weights every day so that's always a good thing when you can increase your weights and uh, last two days I was in 33rd I think after today's bag I probably move up into the top 25 maybe top 20 they're still doing the weigh-in over here but a uh, great week nonetheless these were the two key baits for me this week spinner bait caught a lot of nice fish on that spinner bait back in pockets just throwing it around lay downs uh, six eight well, actually a lot it's a seven one medium fast uh, 13 envy rod so just a light little rod so I could place it the spinner bait back into little spots uh, those fish were really tight to the cover so you had to really put it on those lay downs and uh, kind of reel it through there second key bait was a rock crawler crankbait never really thrown this before but uh, stopped on a bridge on the second day and decided to start throwing it caught a six pounder within the first 15 minutes and kind of rolled with that for the rest of the tournament so that ended up catching a lot of my bigger fish a six pounder yesterday one almost six today so that guy came in clutch for sure but the two baits crankbait spinnerbait mixed in a few other baits throughout the week but those were the two key ones for me and fun place caught a lot of fish this week Caught a, caught a surprising amount of big ones. I really didn't think I was gonna catch that many big fish out here, but uh, they definitely were moving up this week. 
everybody pretty much caught them. The weights were really good. Clark's Hill definitely produced, but appreciate you guys watching the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Had some pretty cool fish catches on this one. And uh, next lake should be a cool one too. The uh, next invitational stop is Lake Eufaula, Oklahoma. So brand new place. There's never really been any tournament coverage on there. A lot of people are saying that it's got some really big bass in it. So looking forward to that one. Should be a fun one. We'll see you at the next one, guys.